In the criminal justice system, holiday-based offenses are considered especially not cool. In the city of St. George, the dedicated detectives who investigate these not good crimes are members of an elite squad thrown together at the last minute, known as the Christmas Victims Unit. These are their stories. Excuse me, sir. We're detectives, and we like to ask you a few questions. Uh, okay. What is this in regards to? Would you mind telling us where you were on the night of December 24th, 2014? Uh, yeah, I, I was in my shop up in the North Pole, getting ready for my annual Christmas journey. I mean, I am... Santa, should I be, should I call my lawyer? Do I need a lawyer? Sir, we have multiple witnesses who place you fleeing from the scene of an accident on Maple Lane at about 11.45 that evening. Do you have any recollection of that? I, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Someone has died here, sir. We need you to remember everything you can. She, she, uh, someone, someone died? Yes, sir. They found her in the snow with what appeared to be reindeer hoof prints on her forehead and sleigh marks on her back. That's pretty interesting, don't you think? Uh, I, I don't know if I would say interesting. That means she wasn't hit just once, but that someone driving a sleigh hit her going one way and then came back around and hit her again. They ran a talk screen on her and found she'd skipped her meds that day and had a stomach full of adult eggnog. Why'd you do it, Santa? I, di I, why, I didn't do it. Here's any what I think happened. You saw the sweet old 86-year-old woman stumbling down the street and that made you mad. Really mad. But, but why would that- That's what we don't know. What? Why'd you do it, Santa? Did you feel like she was a disgrace to the holiday? Did she remind you of your wife and your pending divorce? Maybe you had a little too much eggnog. No, well, let's just, let's just back up. Uh... Sir, you have the right to remain. 